All right, everybody, this is section 8.4, Roots of Complex Numbers. So you're going to notice this is a different formula. It's not on your formula sheet at all. Okay, so we're going to, you could write it on there if you want on the bottom. Um, we're going to use that, and this is what's going to happen. So to find the roots, so it's going to say one root, two roots, three roots. This is for infinitely many. This is going to be the formula set up to be able to find or write out as many as they ask for. The nth root is what they're going to get at. Okay, but first you need to be given some scenario that we're given, and then this is what's going to happen. You're going to take your r value, your radius, and we're going to go one divided by the number of roots. So maybe it's fourth roots, you'd put a four here. If it was third, three roots, you put a three or whatever. Okay, then you're going to put your theta or your polar coordinate, what we're going to deal with, and then this formula is going to be set up accordingly, and it'll kind of make sense once we do one, and you'll divide it by the number of roots that we have, and you'll be able to write them all out. All right, so I'm going to refer to this, so have that handy written somewhere or whatever for all of these. Okay, so find four fourth roots of this given scenario. Okay, so if I have z equals, remember, this is just going to be set up to be your r value. Okay, so this is your radius. All right, and then I know that this is my angle, the 60. So the formula states, I'm going to go w to the kth value equals. And we got to go r, which is 16, to the 1 over n. So 1 over 4. All right, essentially it's going to be the fourth root of 16. Pretty easy. Cosine of, and now the formula on the previous page says, theta plus 360n. Well, what's my theta? Theta is 60. So on the top part, it's going to be 60 degrees plus 360, okay, over n. How many am I finding? Four. All right, plus, and then it's just kind of repeat except it's the sign, and it's going to be 60 plus 360k over 4. Simplify this out, it makes a lot more sense to me. All right, so 16 to the 1 fourth power. Guys and gals, what's the fourth root of 16? What number multiplied four times gives me 16? It's 2. Or you can plug it into your calculator and you'll get that answer. And then, then we'll have cosine of what's 60 over 4? 15 degrees plus what's 360 divided by 4? 90 degrees K. Plus, and then I sine is going to be the exact same thing of 15 degrees plus 3, no, not 360. Got to divide by 4. 90 K. All right. So here's my scenario set up, and how many do I actually want to have? All right, so if I want to go the first time around the circle, I want four of them, right? So we're actually going to denote it the first time around the circle means you go around zero full rotations. The first time is actually W of zero. You put a zero in. It's just going to be essentially the angles given, all right? So we're going to go two units, and then it's going to be cosine of 15 plus I sine of 15. And those of you that are pretty skill savvy, how do I find the next one? What are we counting by, everybody? Every 90 degrees. So if I add 90, that's going to be the next answer, the next root. And it's going to be cosine of 105 degrees plus I sine of 105 degrees. Okay. The third one, which is denoted as 2, is still going to be 2 units going out. And it's going to be cosine of 90 more would be 195 degrees plus I sine 195 degrees. And the last one, the fourth one, or essentially as you get around the circle, it's going to be cosine of 90 more would be 285 degrees plus I sine of 285. Now, if I ask you for a fifth one, what's going to happen? All right. If I go 90 more than that, that's going to be what? 375 degrees. You're one full circle and we're back to square one. That's why there's four of them. They're, you're just essentially going around the circle and finding your answers going around the circle one time. And then it's going to repeat itself. Okay. So that's kind of the first scenario. Okay. Number two says, find three cubed roots of, and now I'm given a regular standard form equation. Square root of 3 minus i. It's a complex number. Well, how do I figure this out? Well, if I graph this thing, the real is square root of 3 to the right, and then I'm one unit down. So square root of 3 to the right, one unit down. Square root of 3, 
minus 1. Well, that, to me, I recognize this. This is a Pythagorean theorem or your special triangle. I know that this is the 1 with 3, 2. So I know my reference angle is what? 30 degrees. So what two things do I need to know to set this up? I need my radius, my r value. What's my radius? It's simply just 2. What's my theta? Theta is the information from home base to my spot. How far is that? Well, I'm 30 degrees shy of 360, so it's 330 degrees. So now I could go back to that very first slide, and my original equation to find these roots are going to be what? My radius, which is 2. How many do I want? 3 cubed roots. So it's 1 over 3. So it's the cube root of 2, and that's just the way it's going to have to be. And then the equation says cosine of. I have my original angle of 330 plus 360k over, how many am I doing? 3. Plus, I'm going to run out of room. I sine, and it's the same thing. 330 plus 360k over 3. Simplify this down so I can work with it better. Like I said, you can't simplify this. This is just 2 to the 1 third, or you could write it as the cubed root of 2 if you really want to. doesn't matter to me. 330 divided by 3 is 110 degrees plus what is that going to be? 120k. All right. So that's kind of the first entity. I forgot cosine. Cosine, 110 degrees plus 120K. And then plus I sine, same drill, 110 degrees plus 120K. Now how many times should you be able to set this guy up? It should go three times around the circle because I want three of them. So the first one is when you actually don't include what you're multi or adding each time. So the first answer, the very first one, is just cosine of 110 degrees plus I sine 110 degrees. All right. Second one, if I go around one time, that's just adding 120 again. So it's going to be cosine of... 230 degrees plus I sine of 230 degrees. And then the last one, 2 to the 1 third. And then I add 120 again, so it's cosine of 350 degrees. Notice I'm not quite all the way around the circle. If I would add 120 again, it'd be back to that 110. And that's why I'm done. Just like that. All right, so that's my three cubed roots. So the point is, you got to put it into your equation, and then we're good. All right, solving this in algebra two, you maybe could have solved this. If you set this up, we would have said, "Oh, x cubed equals negative one." Take the cubed root of x. What do you get? Well, I know x is negative one, and you'd be done, right? Well, there's two imaginary answers as well. It's not that it's a cubed root and that there's three negative ones. There's two imaginary. So one solution is negative one, and we're going to find that out. But other than that, I, I don't really know anything else. All I know is that one answer is x equals negative one. Well, if I graph this, where's negative one? Negative one is straight to the left. Could I get an r value and a theta from that? What's my distance to the left? The distance to the left would simply be what? A one. What's my theta from home base? 180 degrees. Why well, could I go back and set up my equation now? So if I go W, K equals, what's my radius? One. How many roots are there going to be? Three. So it's R to the one third. Not that it matters. Cubed root of one is still one. Here's where it does matter. Cosine of, what's my original angle? 180 degrees plus 360 degrees k divided by 3 plus i sine of 180 degrees plus 360k over 3. So the equation that I can use to grab all three answers would be what? Cosine of 60 degrees plus 120k and then i sine of what? 60 degrees plus 120k. 
Now what do we do? Let's figure it out. The first one, the first time through, we don't need to do anything with this. This is going to be 1. It's not going to change anything. So it's just cosine 60 plus I sine of 60 degrees. Okay? And we could actually find out that answer if we really wanted to in standard form. All right? What's the second one? What do I add over and over again? 120. What do you guys notice this is going to be? What's 120 and 60? 120 and 60 is simply going to be 180 degrees plus I sine of 180 degrees. That's the one we just found. We know we're straight to the left, so we're done. Okay? Because this is going to be what's cosine negative 1 plus 0. That's what it's going to be here, straight left. And then this one you just add again. So it be cosine of 300 plus I sine of 300 degrees. So there are actually answers to a problem like this, even though in Algebra 2 we decided that it's just negative 1 and that's it. There's two imaginary. Well, we could go through and we could calculate what these are. Okay? Cosine of 60, I know, is 1 half, so I could say it's 1 half plus I. What's sine of 60? Root 3 over 2. That's technically the value of it. Okay? This one would be what? 1 half but this is going to be minus square root of 3i over 2. So that's the value or how you would actually graph those different equations or where those roots are. All right? Fourth one. Last one. What if I give you x to the fifth minus 32? First of all, how many answers do I need? I need five of them, right? So I know that there's going to be five roots. I know n is going to be five. I need that first one. So if you guys look at this, Okay, if you go x to the fifth equals 32, what number multiplied five times gets me to 32? Hopefully you recognize that the fifth root of 32 is 2. If you can recognize that, I know that one solution is me going two units to the right. All right, what does that tell me? That tells me my radius is 2. That's my distance. All right, what's my degree measure though? If I'm straight to the right, I'm, I'm at my origin. My theta is what? Zero degrees. Sweet. So the first one I could already do. It's two, and it's going to be cosine of zero degrees plus I sine of zero degrees. And I'm going to try to expedite this just a little bit. What's the only thing we did to get to the next problem? We took 360 divided by the number of roots I know there's going to be. So what is this one going to be? 360 divided by, I want five answers. So there's five roots. What's 360 divided by 5? I know that it's what? 72 degrees. So I'm just going to add 72 every time. So the next one's going to be your radius is 2. Cosine of 72 degrees plus I sine 72 degrees. And then the third one, just in order the second one, you're just going to go 72 again. So cosine of 144 degrees plus I sine of 144 degrees. Third one, 72 again, cosine of 216 degrees, plus I sine of 216 degrees. And the last one, 72 again, would be cosine of 288 degrees, plus I sine 288 degrees. If you do 72 again, you'd be done. You'd be at 360, and technically you would be at home base again. So those would be your five answers. So I know this isn't completely easy. I'll try to show you graphically kind of what's going on if you're a little bit confused. So make sure you give me a summary and a few questions. And this is the few problems that we'll work on in class. Hope you all have a wonderful day.